Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Tom Harrod, and I'm the Associate Director for Reference, Instruction, and Access at the Himmelfarb Library. Today, we will briefly be talking about updating your biosketch via ScienceCV. Let's get started. Here's an outline of what I'll be discussing in this video. We'll start with a brief discussion of the difference between ScienceCV and Biosketch. Then we'll go to MyNCBI to look at how to use ScienceCV. ScienceCV and Biosketch are sometimes used interchangeably, but there is a difference between them. ScienceCV is an electronic program from NIH that is available through your MyNCBI account. It can be used to format a biosketch, which is a biographical sketch describing why you are well qualified to be the recipient of a particular grant based on your past scientific output and educational slash work experiences. Next, I want to talk about using ScienceCV. So to get started, I will Google my NCBI login and I will end up on this page. The first thing to note about logging into your MyNCBI account is that recently MyNCBI did away with the former login system and moved to a third-party login system. This means that you will actually sign into your account through a third-party login, such as the GW user ID password single sign-on system. So I'm going to scroll down, click on more login options, and to find uh, the GW option, I will actually go to the letter T because it is listed as the George Washington University. So uh, you have to remember to go to T, not to G. And I'm going to scroll down and here we are. I'm going to click on this and it's going to redirect to the GW single sign-on system and here is where I would put in my user ID and password. Once logged into my NCBI, I can scroll down and on the bottom right I can see my ScienceCV biosketches. To create a new one, I would click on Manage ScienceCV and select Create a New Document. But here I'm going to show you a couple of these so that you can see how they are formatted for NIH grants versus NSF grants. So I'm going to start with one that's formatted for NIH. The first section I see here is education and training. This one is pretty straightforward and you can make relevant entries by clicking add one. Next is a section called personal statement. Here is where you describe why you are particularly well suited for the specific grant to which you're applying. This section includes a statement and up to four supporting citations. This section will likely need to be adjusted for every new grant application as the content in it will be tailored to a specific grant. The next section is called Positions, Scientific Appointments, and Honors, and you can add these by clicking Add One. And the final section is called Contributions to Science. This section covers up to five of your most important contributions to science, with up to four citations for each contribution. This is a more general section which, which speaks to your most important overall contributions, and therefore it might be repeated uh, for subsequent grant applications. Next, I want to look at an NSF formatted biosketch, so I'll click here. You'll notice that the names of the fields are different than with the NIH formatted biosketch, but the content is largely the same. For instance, the content for products would be pretty similar to what would be included in the personal statement section of the NIH formatted biosketch. So two final things I want to discuss. One is that when the biosketch is completed, you can download it as a PDF by clicking here, and then this can be added to your grant application. Also, to make the process of linking to articles easier, you can link your MyNCBI account to your ORCID account. To do this, click on your login name up here and select Account Settings. Under Linked Accounts, you can connect to your ORCID account. Doing so will allow you to draw from the citations in your ORCID account when completing the various sections of a Science CV biosketch. During this video, I covered the following things. The difference between ScienceCV and Biosketch, and the use of ScienceCV within your MyNCBI account. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Updating Your Biosketch via ScienceCV. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library here to see other videos in the series. 
If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at tph at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.